Good afternoon. How's everyone doing today? It's Christine Trainer talking to you live from New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. It's 1.30. I'm going to just get on with this. Whoever comes on says hello. We will continue on with the conversation. Okay? This is what I thought I'd do from now on, when, even if there's nobody here. I said I'd be here at 1.30. Come visit me. Come say hello. This is what I'm talking about today. Okay? And this is what I said I wanted to talk about on Sunday. I think it was Sunday or Saturday. Hey, Amadou, how you doing? So this is what I want to say. Do you believe in the power of positive thoughts and ideas? Hmm? Now, I'm just going to do a quick little random definition of what some, some of the things. And then we're going to talk about my life experiences and how I became a positive influence in my life and how I think I believe in it. Hmm? Now, I'm just going to quickly go to a couple of meanings of it. And here's a good one. Okay? through the Cambridge Dictionary. A positive attitude, so to speak. On a more positive note, um, oh, I'm trying to see the definition here. I'm trying to, this is sometimes they don't, um, let's, forgive me, I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to do this within a certain frame time, so. Um, let me see the meaning of being positive, full of hope, confidence, or giving cause for hope and confidence, certain and within any, you know, there's definition of positive, consisting, you know, there's so many interesting definitions of the word positive and how you can be, consisting or in, in or characterized by the presence rather than the absence of distinguishing features, um, a person having a specific condition, showing traces of it specified substance in their body. Uh, that's, that's, something, that's something different. That's totally like... But the idea of feeling positive. Um, I'm trying to get the word of positive. It's kind of hard here. And get me wrong. I'm just trying to get a good idea what it might mean. Um, and the more I say it, Hey, Rebaz, how you doing? Uh, formally laid down a positive of relating to or constituting the degree of comparison that is expressed in English of the, of, by the unmodified and reflective form of an adjective and adverb, independent of changing circumstances. Um, well, to me, the idea of being positive is, the f is how you feel inside yourself, who you are as a person, of a feeling of happiness within you, um, always thinking the good rather than the bad in life, um, thinking that there's going to be a good future ahead of you. Um, this is my idea of what positive means. And thinking positive and feeling positive and having good positive thoughts to me can be a power. Uh, hi, Christine. How you doing? It's positive within you. So when you go along and you think different ideas of being positive, there's just a lot of ideas. It's like an adverb as a verb. But to me, the word positive being positive, thinking positive, having positive thoughts, is thinking of a happiness within you, a good consistency what's going to happen within your life, thinking good of yourself, good things are going to happen, everything in turn will happen in a positive, in a good way. So this is my idea of what positive means. Now I'm going to give you some examples how negative parts of time in my life turned into a more positive thing and I realized that I could change my life. My life. And the first time stems back when I was married to my ex-husband. Now, he was a very, very negative man. He was very abusive to me, very more mentally abusive. But I always thought, hey, Parisa, that within my life with my ex, that I could make things good for them. I could turn it around to a positive situation. And the first positive thing, of course, within that relationship was when I had my son, Steve. That's happiness itself. It was a good thing in my life because it taught me taught me to be more, um, shall we say, uh, mature, responsible person and how to, to understand it and now have a little one in our life to take care of. Now, my son is 35 now, so different thing, now, but he is around. <laughs> but see, what I'm trying to talk about, see, I'm babbling again. What I'm trying to talk about, in the situation of the negative life I had with my ex for 15 years, it was hard for me. I, I, I went through a lot of strain and, and abuse and it was terrible. Until the day he decided to leave, and he did. He, when my son was 15 years old, he left. Now, at that time, I thought it was a terrible thing he had done. But then I turned around and realized, I'm glad he did it. It was good that he did it for me. Because then I had to realize that my life would be better without him. Because we, it was just too much of a hard life 
that we had together. And that it was better. Hi, Anthony, how you doing? That my ex left me. Turned me into a better human being, to be more positive and loving towards my son, to give myself a better meaning, to work steady in my life, and to turn my life around more. And to a better frame of mind, to a positive way of thinking. So yes, it was good that he did that. Hmm? I turned it around and made it a positive situation for me. Now to this day, we are basically friends, you know, even though sadly he's living in a home. He had a, he had a stroke a, number, a couple of years back. But you know what? When he did that to me, when he left me, my ex-husband, 15 years ago, let me live to my own life, that was good because I became more mature, I became more responsible, and I understood life a bit better at that time. Because when that was happening, when he was abusive and my life was bad, I always had such sadness within myself. But when he left, and it was sad, it turned around, it was a good thing for me. So yes, that was a positive thing in my life. Now, as time went by, you know, there's a second thing in my life. There's about three things, major things, but the second major thing in my life that was traumatic for me, I turned into a more positive spin, was when uh, I had, it was when I was 50 years old, because I'm fast forwarding till I was 50, and I had a tumor. I had an ovarian cancerous tumor, and that was scary for me, because I thought, oh my God, am I going to die? This is the end. I'm actually very sick, and I didn't know that at the time, you see. I thought it was just devastating, and I have a positive role model in my life, and it's my father, Victor. And he always saw the better in things, and he always saw, he turned around and said, no, this is good for you to see this. Hey, Stephen, how you doing? Because what he did for me was he showed me that even though I had cancer, and he was with me at the time when I had my appointment, he said, that's not a terrible thing. You'll have the operation, you'll get yourself well, you'll heal. Hi, Lorraine. And that is good. So my father was a positive role model in my life. So when I had my hysterectomy and I had my tumor removed, I was happy that happened because it taught me something of my self-worth and who I was as a human being. And that was good for me. It was good for me. So I wanted to get better. I wanted to heal. I wanted to feel the strength of the positive thoughts within me. And you all can do that. I did. I came out of it. I'm 58, almost 59, and I'm cancer-free because I chose not to to crawl within a hole because I got sick, but to get out, out of that hole, crawl out and realize it's just cancer, it's just an illness. I can heal from it, I can get better, I can get well, and I did. And then a couple years ago was another time in my life when I was quite overweight and my arthritis was really bad, and I was struggling really bad. And then when I found some issues and things, and I go to a rheumatologist and I started getting Zinvic in my knees to help deal with the pain. And I realized at that time that I, myself, had to deal with this in a better frame of mind, a positive frame of mind. I was 270 pounds, 275 actually. And I said to myself, I'm going to get healthy and trim and fit and get this weight off my knees so I can have a better quality of life. And so that's what I did. I took two years. I went strong. I did never come up by I ate healthy. I started into a better frame of living and thinking that I can do this. And I did it. I lost the over 150 pounds. Now, the past few months, I actually gained, but I lost another 10. So I'm actually back on, getting back on track again. Because I say to myself, this is who I am. I'm a loving, caring, beautiful person. See, I have these affirmations in my mind. And I stuck to it. And I kept my weight off. And I'm sticking to it still. My weight is still pretty, quite a bit down low. And I've started actually a better routine now this past two weeks because I got sick. And that's another thing. I got sick last week. But I didn't let the illness deter me from what I wanted to do every day. I stayed positive and firm that I went, okay, I got to take this floor pace and I got to get well. Every single thing you do in your life, you can turn it around and make it into a positive thing. So yes, I think positive thoughts and ideas are powerful because they make you think, they turn things around. And you can see, wow, the clearing. And now the last thing that I kind of think is wonderful. A few months ago when I decided to change my life for the better, I started into online marketing or into online social media marketing. And that was the very first thing I did in my life. I went, whoa, can I do this? And I thought, yes, I can. I'm going to do this. I'm going to change my life around because I'm here today. I'm talking to you all. Because the, the idea of the thoughts of being positive within myself, that I know I can do it, that I could change my life around and make it for the better, to me, posit that makes positive sense to me. 
and I come online to you and tell you about this because, yes, I believe that there is power in the positive thoughts and ideas. And so a couple months ago, I even did even something better. You know what I did? I decided to do more affirmations in my life and I put them around my house. Now I memorize them. And I actually have another little booklet of different affirmations that I read every day, every day. Because you know why? <laughs> because my mind is bursting with positive energy, energy too. And then I decided to meditate, to keep my mind calm every day, to keep my life at an even keel. So yes, I say to you all, find ways and do it. Affirmations, meditation, be with people that are positive in your life. As I have a beautiful community of Iranian friends that are so positive and enlightening that I hang with them all the time. Hi Virgie, how you doing? And I stick with that wonderful crowd of positive people because they make me feel good. And I learn from them. Being with positive people, you can learn and grow too. So, that's what I want to talk about today. And I think I went a little bit over my 10 minutes. I was going to do lower. But see? This is what I talked about. So everybody who's interested in you, want to come by and maybe send me a message and chat about positive life, positive thinking. Come on and give me a message. Anybody who's interested in getting to know me as a person, send me a message. And I'll tell you about the positive place that I'm in now and why I chose to change my life for the better in the new place of the company that I work with now. It's an awesome place. And the people I work with are so positive and inspiring that I love it even more. So that's what I want to talk about you today. Now, I'm coming back on Friday, but Friday I always like to do something fun. And so I'm going to leave you with something for just a minute here. <laughs> See if I can find my other little positive thing I have in my life as I walk around. Let me find her, my little whippersnapper of kitten you witten, who's actually, her name is Etta, and she's actually almost seven months old. My nephew made a mistake. He, he, but that's okay with you. So, where is that little whippersnipper of ours? Where is Etta? Etta? Oh, there she is. Come, let's say hello to Etta. I leave you with Etta. How's that? And my sweetie's sleeping, but that's okay. We're going straight to Etta. <laughs> meow, meow. There she goes. There's her Etta. See, she's saying hello. What? What? Etta, Etta. Etta, Etta. See your pos my positive little, little Etta. Yes, yes, she's talking away. Yes, my positive girl. So, there we are. She's talking away. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Etta. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, there you go. I leave you with that. A positive little blip of life. Our little kitty, Etta. <laughs> that really makes me feel good every day, too. Yes, she's a challenge, but I like her challenge. Make your life a wonderful challenge, too. Stay positive. And then I'll say one more thing. Okay? Make today a great day in your everyday journey, as I always do when I check out my YouTube. I name Christine Trader with my everyday, uh, my, my, my everyday journey blips. Awesome. This was great. Come back on Friday at 1.30, and we might have a, just a little bit of fun with our Etta. Our little Etta. Maybe we'll chat and talk about fun things and whatnot, because I like to make Fridays fun. So come back, everybody. And thank you, Virgie, Lorraine, my dear lovely lady, and everybody else come on, as usual, with a tablet. It kind of goes wonky. And have a lovely day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, I'll see you Friday at 1.30. Come on back. Let's have some fun. Enjoy the Friday afternoon, because it's going to be the weekend in a few days. <laughs> have a good, positive day. Think positive. Be positive, because it's strong and it's powerful. Bye.